I was talking with a colleague of mine the other day, and at one point in the conversation, he mentions that a problem he has with Microsoft's new Fabric platform is that he can't use on-premise files in his uh, ingestion pipelines. And this person was more familiar with uh, Data Factory, where you can do this quite easily by installing a self-hosted integration runtime to your local machines. And that way you can access those files in the, in the Data Factory. And although the Fabric pipeline experience is very similar to Data Factory in a lot of ways, this concept of a self-hosted integration runtime doesn't exist. And so, understandably, this person concluded that it's simply not possible to do this. But I thought about it afterwards and it seemed to me like it would be a very big blind spot from Microsoft if this was actually not possible at all. And so sure enough, uh, I did find a way to do this, to bring in on-premise files into your Fabric pipelines using just, just Fabric and without needing other custom tools in between. So I shared this with my colleague and now I'm going to show it to you guys as well. So we are here in our Fabric workspace and on my laptop I have this uh, sample CSV file that we are going to try and create a connection to so we can have that ingested as part of our data pipelines. And so if we go to the data pipeline creation here, in Data Factory, the way we would do something like this and get files from our local system or our enterprise network that isn't on the cloud, uh, we would create a copy data activity. And then we would have an option here to use a, a file system as our source. And then we could connect to that source using our self-hosted integration runtime. Uh, but in Fabric, that isn't an option. So we're just gonna forget about the copy data activity. And the way we are going to do it instead is by using a data flow activity in our pipeline. And for those who are more familiar with Data Factory and less familiar with uh, Power BI and data flows, uh, this might be less intuitive. But I'm going to show you how it works. And we're just going to create a new data flow. And this is basically the query tool, Power Query uh, element of Power BI. And here we can also choose various data sources, including Excel files, CSV files, and we are going to choose the CSV file option. And the first thing we are going to fill in is uh, the file path to our file, which we can just get here. And then for the connection settings, which I have already created here, we just need to specify the name of the gateway that we want to use. And in this case, this is what the gateway on my laptop is called, uh, like so. And I'm not going to go into details about installing the gateway. There's plenty of uh, instructions available for doing that, if that's something new to you. But assuming we have the gateway here running, we can just select that. And then for authentication, we are just going to use um, Windows authentication. And then you can fill in your Windows username and password you're using on your machine. And there we go. That's all we need. And then we can bring this data in to the data flow. And then here we can just select the data destination where we can save this file into our uh, cloud storage, uh, such as Azure SQL or the Lakehouse, which is a new fabric data storage option. And this way we can get files like this from our local machines, our on-premise network into our cloud services, where they can then easily be accessed further down in our data pipeline. Hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial on how to get your on-premise files into Fabric. If so, do consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps a lot as I'm starting out creating this kind of content and trying to make it better and better over time. And likewise, any feedback you have, any questions or any other topics in the world of data engineering that you would like me to cover, uh, it really helps a lot. Uh, so thank you and I'll see you in the next video.